Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I thought I would show you my skincare routine. So if you guys want to know what kind of facials I do, so this is not particularly like a, fa like a skincare routine, I guess, because I don't do this on the regular basics. This is more of a facial. Um, if you guys want to know what I do to my face for it to look like this, you can continue to watch this video and I will gladly show you guys how I did my hair today and uh, my face so that if you was, guys want to recreate it or you guys have some questions about how to hydrate your skin, how to take care of it, um, feel free to watch it and let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, really quickly before we continue this video, I decided not to show you how I did my hair because it was too long and it made the video way, way too long. So I took it off. Um, if you guys want me to show you, I can still edit that and make it its own video and we could do that for another day or I can post it on the next day. Anyways, just leave it in the comments below. Let me know. <laughs> oh, can you guys see my great hairs? I kind of love them. I'm not going to lie. Today, what I'm going to use is call brush beauty balm b3 this is what it looks like comes with a little attachment that you guys will see me use later um obviously i'm not gonna put a headband on because my hair stopped away as i mentioned before then i'm just gonna use cotton pads quite a bit of them i only like to take one or two at a time though just to make sure i don't put them on the surface and they get dirty and messed up and ugly okay so I use different type of skincares. I could do another video on a different type. This is just my overall favorite, favorite, favorite facial that I've come up with or that I've somehow managed to do um, because it's really, 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 really nice for your skin. And I'll, I'll put a little video here, hopefully. I'm not sure if I can do it because I'm trying to do this on my phone so that I can be facing you guys because I have so much crap behind me that i cannot put a camera here but anyways um every time that i do it i get compliments on my skin people think i have makeup on like foundation at least and when i tell them i don't they usually like try to like touch my skin to make sure that i don't so even i've noticed like i'm like there's no way this is my skin like regularly it's probably just the oils and everything that i'm using so i'll show you guys what i'm doing this time and we could do another one so the first thing that I do is I use a steamer. This is the one that I use. I'm just like going out of the way. So this is what it looks like. I guess I can. Thing. Okay, there we go. So this is the steamer that I use. This is what it looks like. And I fill this little thing up all the way. And I use the entire water. I use water... Um, bottle water i don't use tap water because tap water is disgusting i'm not putting that on my face and then you could put a little thing here to give it some like lavender smells or something i never do that but that's what i use so pretty much this is what the steamer does i do my neck as well because i do treat my neck because i like to get this little i don't know if you guys can see this it's not just for me having a low amount of fat in my body it's also because of the tools I use, because I'm very conceited. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say to someone else. Um, so I also treat my, um, my neck. Sorry, my mom's still texting me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, and then I get my forehead as well. And normally what I do... I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. I'm well, yeah, you probably have in one of my beauty room tours. So I have my vanity. I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can I put this like this, right? And then I have a TV and I just like lay back like this. And while this is steaming my face, usually I put it towards me, obviously. I get to watch TV. Since I'm doing a video right now, I'm gonna try. Sorry. I'm gonna try to like not be lazy because then if I start watching something, I'm gonna wanna keep watching it. So we're gonna try not to do that today. And now I think I'm gonna speed this up for you guys. <laughs> I've more 
I then moisturize my face. And then it stays kind of sticky and I don't like that. But I mainly do the steamer so that I can use this handy little tool. This is BB, BB Tar. That's what it looks like. BB Tar. Um, when you turn it on, you just flip this. It makes this little sound. You can change the heads of it. This is the one that I use most of the time. Um, I used to use it all over my face. And then I started noticing a bit of sagging from it. So I only use it for my nose. So I get like all the little blackheads that I get here. I get a lot of them right here and then here. That's what I use it for. Um, I use it once and then I take this off because this comes off. I clean this and then there's a little pad in there. I take that off and I uh, wash it. Or if it's to use, then I'll, I have a pack of a bunch of them. Then I'll put a new one in. But I like to do the steamer with this so that it's not pulling too harshly on my skin. Um, sometimes I do it right after, sometimes I do it during, it just kind of depends and I don't do it for too long. So we put this on the side because it's dirty, it has to be clean now. Um, and then after that I grab a cotton pad and I use the Bioderma, um, solution as makeup remover. And I put a little bit in here, well quite a bit actually. And then I always do motion like this. So I always try to do it up because we're not trying to help gravity give us any wrinkles or sagness. And pretty much clean any like dirt that I might have. And I don't know if you guys can tell like I'm getting red. That doesn't normally happen with me um, unless I'm doing a facial because I am tugging and humidifying and doing all that stuff to my skin so it's normal um just make sure if there's ever any burn you stop immediately or you take it off whatever it is that you are doing and i've done that before where i freaked out and i took it off i did a little more research and it was normal for the burn and there's other times that it was not normal for the burn so i'm glad i took it off the forehead were a little bit more rough i know i shouldn't but it's a lot easier that way. So we do this. And then this is really disgusting now. <laughs> you can probably not see it. But we're going to just use another one. Normally I just use one. But I haven't done a steaming in a while. So my face is not all that great. And then we need the nose. I make sure I do the nose with the clean one or at the beginning because that's my problem area the nose the first thing that i'm going to use is the seaweed cleansing lotion for mario badusco and it looks like this and again we're going to use another cotton pad dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. and we're going to put a very, very generous amount so that we don't have issues with it. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab it and put it like this. And then the attachment, you're going to put it on the top. So then it should look like this, nice and tight. And then we're going to turn it on, press on it, and it does that. And the first one that it goes, it goes into clean detoxification clean detoxification and um it has a timer an internal timer on it so once it stops technically you're supposed to stop using it but since i'm talking today i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to turn it on and off and i'm gonna make my necklace a bit longer so it could be out of the way and i always start from the neck up we always want to move up you never want to pull down because you're helping you're helping the wrinkles happen or you're helping your skin and um, gravity make wrinkles so I like to press a little bit like gently don't push or like hurt yourself you want to just press a little bit so that sometimes I do it like this because of my nails I don't want to scratch myself so then I'm gonna press a little bit on it 
I'm gonna go from the bottom and I'm gonna go all the way up and I go all the way to where I can if I don't have the rollers I usually go all the way to the back I have the rollers so it's gonna be a little bit harder today it's cold so and I just go gently and I follow the muscles on my face if you're not sure what your muscles look like just google it and it'll show you a little chart of what muscles you have underneath so you can follow those and don't press too hard, you don't have to press that hard. And then I go on the neck, this is the part that I really like to focus on quite a bit. My family's calling me. Um, because, again, if you guys can tell, I have a definition here that I like to maintain. Um, if I want this definition without doing any of this facials or light treatments that I do, I would have to cut down my carbs and my fat intake by quite a bit, which I refuse to do. So I do a lot of uh, drainage massage in this area to make sure that we have a defined jaw. Um, so I grab, again I pull a little bit, and then I start from the bottom of the chin. I do it a minimum of three times per side, but if you want to do more, you can. And this particular wand, it's equivalent to if you were using a wasa. If you don't know what that is, it's those little stones that are very popular that like you're supposed to massage with it. Um, this is kind of what it does. This is, I like to believe, is just a little bit more advanced because if I do one time with this one, um, I see immediate results. If I do the Huasa, it came off, sometimes that happens. What I do is I just use a new one. Um, if I use the stones, um, I do see results. It just takes a little bit longer, like probably about a week of me having to do it every day or every other day which is it's okay you're not supposed to do like machines like this all the time because it's not good for your skin um you're overworking it so i do the hoasas um when i'm not trying to get crazy with my facials but today's not the day so i already did the neck and the chin area so now i'm going to start from the chin i would start from here and then i move my way up so see it already finished the session um, but that's because I'm talking. If I wasn't talking, I would just do my thing. Um, and honestly, you don't need more than the timer. Than the time the timer gives you. <laughs> and for this one, I don't really, like, tug on my face too much. What I do is, like, if I'm going this way, I do, like, mm. So with my mouth, I'm pulling my skin to the right. And then with the machine, I'm pulling to the left. If that makes sense. I'm holding here because of my rollers. <laughs> I don't want to pull my hair and then like F this up. So I'm just holding on to it so I don't. So for this part right here, I like to go up and then pull it back up because we're trying to get that you see how this is plumb? We're trying to make sure this is plumb sticking out. And there's like a little, you see that line? We're trying to get that to be accentuated. Now that I've done this part, then I'm going to do the rest. And I also start at the chin. <laughs> Then I do the forehead, and this one I just do it in circles. I do the T part, which is this part, in circles, just for a little bit. 
because we've already cleansed and sanitized our face to the max and at the beginning when you're doing the cleansing motion obviously you are cleansing it's also in detoxing mode so you're just cleaning your face before you put oils on so whenever you add any oils and your body or your skin absorbs it you're absorbing nothing but the good things okay and then after that just a bit grab my hair again and I just do this area right here and I'm just pulling it up okay and then I do my nose just in circles Gross, gross. And we are thought my face was already clean. Okay, and then we're gonna use the. I'm using the. I hope I don't pronounce this wrong. Maron Makeup Skin Prep Pro Pre Makeup Skin Toner. I only have a little sample left. Uh, I need to order more. This, if you guys take anything away from this video, invest in this. And I think it's $13 for the bottle. It's really not that expensive. And the reason why I like it is because it it leaves my, my skin like porcelain. It's, it's so weird to explain. Just like this again. We're going to turn it on and then we're going to put it on photo rejuvenation mode, which is the second mode. And it has a little green, or not green, red light, if you guys can tell. And we're going to do the same thing we did before, so we're going to speed it up. all the way correctly because this um toner does this weird thing where it leaves a very thin kind of latex texture or mask on your face um and it gently starts breaking up as you talk more but if i'm really fast about talking or making too many movements with my face it leaves residue and it looks really weird like if i'm peeling off so see how it looks like i have no pores i know i have more pores than that but it's really just i'm cleaning my pores right now and then I put the thin layer of the toner, which look how shiny and pretty I look. Good products, guys. Good products. And then once again, I'm gonna grab another one. I'm gonna clean it to make sure. We're going to apply the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum, which looks like this. And then we're also going to add the Moir Atomic Water Bomb, which looks like this. You guys have seen me use this a million times. So, I'm tired. And then I'm just going to gently tap it all over my face. Like <laughs> Um, quite a bit. Forehead, cheek. Okay, so I'll show you. Mario Badusca's uh, Cer Ceramade Eye Gel. I have, I'm gonna turn it back on. 
So we're going to do photo rejuvenation again. This time I'm not going to have the cotton pad in it, so it's going to be even better for the skin. I'm going to do the same thing. to use the Lime Life by Alcom Green Smoothie Alfalfa and Celery Anti-Aging Face Cream. It looks like this. And then also same company, I'm going to use the face oil is Palmarosa and Sunflower. And it looks like this. Okay. So we're going to turn it on to make sure it's ready. Okay, so then I just, oh no, I'm almost out. It's okay, I have a backup. Oh my god, I think I'm actually out. No. Yes. Okay. We're pumping as much as we can. We got this much out, but it's okay, guys. I got more. Yes. Why am I excited? Because this is amazing. A little bit here. Okay, now we're gonna do the oil, and I do quite a bit of oil because it's better for the machine to smoothly slide off of you or off your skin than for it to like tug at it and then same thing on my fingertips to get the areas I didn't get originally and we're gonna do the firming and lifting which is a blue light <laughs> finished product <laughs> um remember how i cut it in my mouth now we're good so this is what my skin looks like finished looked um this is usually what i look like on a regular basics just hair lots and lots of hair like ooh, yes lots of hair and little to no makeup the only makeup that i have on right now it's gonna be um the eyebrows and the lashes but these are fake extension lashes so you know we don't really put these on every day this is just kind of how it looks um so one more time so you guys can see this is what my face looks like after the facial i don't do these uh or this machine every single day i do this uh once maybe twice a week 
and I tend to do it at night to be honest with you guys sometimes I'll do it in the morning if I forgot or if I'm I wake up and I feel like my skin really needs a little bit of hydration this is a lot of hydration and firming for this facial um I do it once maybe twice twice is like my max that I do it I don't like to do the same thing every day I don't think it's good and healthy for my skin also there's a lot of tugging and pulling I also don't think that's healthy um but as I get older, I do find skincare regimen to be more exciting for me than anything else. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Leave it in the comment section down below and I will gladly do that for you guys. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, liked it. Um... And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I hope you had a wonderful day, you're going to have a wonderful day, or you're having an amazing day. Bye, guys. Okay, now, I know I keep, it probably looks like I keep, like, messing up with the frame, but my mom is having some technical difficulties downloading an app. She didn't even know how to do that. She goes, what is a Play Store? Why do I have to go to a store? To download an app why can't i do it on my phone <laughs> um so i can't believe she said that um <laughs> she really thought she had to go to a physical store like in the mall for them to download an app for her for her to use it so oh, fuck, she keeps texting me hold on